Okay, we're going to look at some RVs today. The first one is this uh, Jayco Greyhawk, and this is the 31 FK model, which FK stands for Front Kitchen. It's a layout that I really like, uh, and 31 is the length. It's 31 feet. It's a Class C. You can see it had the uh, slide out on the driver's side, and now we're going to go inside and have a look. Now this one has the couch. Well, I'll go through it. Let's get a quick pan first. Nice cockpit. Nice leather seats. This could become a, a, a bed up here. Or I would probably use it for storage. Uh, dinette. Now this sofa can also be uh, optionally made into theater seats, which is, happens to be uh, a layout that I like. Uh, and the reason I like this layout is that you're facing the television. There's the entrance door, covered sinks, nice layout. microwave, stove top, and an oven. This is the 8 cubic foot fridge. Decent size, certainly for me. Got the freezer up top. And then you go back through to the bedroom. We've got a uh, shower on the right. It's a good size one. It's tall enough for me. We've got the John. A little bit of counter space by the uh, vanity. And a spot for your toiletries and medicines and that sort of thing. So that's good. And then the bedroom. Queen size bed. Other back. That's nice. For headboard. Uh, an end table there, so I've got a plug for the machine. Got uh, and you've got lots of cupboards up there. Plus you have another cupboard here, full length, and a TV. So that's the 31 FK Greyhawk by Jayco. This next one is the Winnebago Aspect. It's the model number 27K, so it's 27 feet long, and this is much smaller than the other one. It does have a slide out. Uh, let's go inside. I've never been in this one before. Okay, so I think you'd call this a Class B plus rather than a Class C. It's got uh, cabinetry along the top. Got your cockpit with rear rear. Uh, camera, all that stuff. There's your dinette. Notice this one doesn't have a couch because it's only 27 feet long. But it does have a fair bit of counter space and it has the TV mounted above the counter, which is actually pretty convenient. And you go back here. It's got a full bedroom. It's got a window on the side of the slide there which is nice for cross breeze. Has some cabinets and it's nice. It also has a TV up here. Here's the bathroom. Has a okay size shower and not a great big vanity area but it's just a bathroom, right? This one's a Jayco Melbourne, model number 28F, so it's 28 feet long. Has the slide, sorry, the awning, and we will check the inside. And this is very similar to the aspect. Uh, has a TV up above the cockpit. Uh, it does have a tub chair here, so that can count for the extra two feet. Some storage. 
it has a big wraparound dinette so lots of room there but again no couch a little smaller on the counter space uh, but it does have a functional kitchen uh, this is a slide out I believe right here this this that is not out that's why it looks a little cramped in here for the uh, dinette and we go back to the bedroom the slide is definitely not out here so it looks really cramped uh, but it does have a nice back window that's also your emergency exit uh, and it does have a TV so the bedroom's good just not having a couch isn't great but it does have that tub chair uh, which does look like it slides out you can put your feet up and probably move it around pretty easily to watch television or do a laptop and you can certainly do laptop work here okay this is a uh, Winnipego Via it's a diesel it's small but it is technically a class A probably the smallest of the class A's and I haven't been in one of these so I don't know. okay we're inside this a little different configuration along the front here and these cockpit chairs will swivel so they will become part of the living area and that's good you've got a couch no dinette but that little hole in the floor will allow a table to be set up very easily and there's another one here so probably you could eat from the front seats as well got a TV there here's the kitchen or the galley very small uh, single sink plus a burner there is a convection microwave fridge obviously a bathroom and then this configuration you have to make up your bed each day so this one would be out for me but you can see it has a fairly good amount of cabinet space um, but putting a bed together every night when you're on the road every night is uh, a little too much I think as we move around a little bit you can see we're getting into some of the bigger class A's now and we're going to have a look at some of those that's the big Gen uh, Jayco Seneca which again is a diesel which I think is really expensive for what you get and this is the Jayco Precept it's a smaller class A probably it looks like about 34 feet I've been through that it's not very impressive for me and this is the Fleetwood Bounder Classic. Uh, I love this Fleetwood Bounder, but not the particular classic layout. Let's go in and I'll show you why. Okay. So this is the Bounder Classic, Class A. It's got lots of storage along the top. There's your control panel for you systems has a really nice simple cockpit uh, lots of room to put a bed there for bear that works has a couch and a TV at the end which means you're turning your head to watch the TV and that's why I didn't like this layout but it does have a nice kitchen microwave stove stove top sinks has a dinette more cabinets, TV, good size fridge, that looks like a 10 cubic foot, oh, this is a bunkhouse model, no interest to me, and then we're into the bedroom, We've got TV and drawer space, uh, the bed's in a slide out, so you've got a fair bit of room, and then you've got your bathroom at the back of the coach, has a huge shower, that is a big shower for an RV has lots of spots for your linens this is nice uh, good vanity and again you got a window there so you've got some cross vents so this is a this is a nice layout except for the bunkhouse doesn't work for me and the location of the TV
Okay, to give you a comparison, this is a straight downer, not the classic. This is the 35K model. This one looks like it's been sold, but we can go in and have a quick look at it. Uh, it is also about 35 feet, about the same length as the other one. So let's have a look. Yeah, this one's got the layout I like. I wanted to show you this. Has a nice lamp up there. Again, nice cockpit. Rear camera. All that good stuff. It has what looks like a, a pantry here. The slides are in on this, so it's going to look small, but it's actually a really large coach. It has decent counter space, decent cupboard space, a couple of hooks for coats, I guess. Microwave convection, has an oven. Now this is really cramped, but this is the layout I like because of this, I think they call this a a residential layout or something like that because when this pushes back you're actually facing the television in an L shape because this particular part here slides out and you get an L shaped couch down below you've got a fireplace so you can have a fireplace you got your TV for those rainy nights and you've got a great fridge it's a side-by-side with uh, double doors, freezers, and fridges. So that's nice. And then we go back to the bathroom. Well, actually, we go through here to the bathroom, which is just your toilet and vanity. This is a half bath. And again, these slides are in, so it's really hard to see how spacious this is, but this is a really good size bedroom, queen size bed. It's got uh, wardrobes, TV right at the end, and at the back, you can't get to it. Interesting, when you're traveling, you can't get to the shower, not that you really want to. But there's a, a shower back there and another full bath. And here's the coach from the other end. As I say, this is all slid in, so it doesn't really show the size of it. But if I go Class A, this is certainly one of the top of the list. Uh, in terms of layout. Okay, so again, I'm back outside. That's the bounder we were just in. And we looked at uh, some of these others. That's the bounder classic that we sh showed you. Here's some more. And then once we turn the corner, we start to get into the used coaches, which change all the time. And you can see, probably shooting into the sun, you can't see, but they've got a lot. And then over on this side, you got the huge tag axle, half a million dollar coaches, uh, which are just spectacular, but really too big for what I want to use, even if I had a half a million dollars to throw at it, because they're 40 to 45 feet, uh, and those don't fit in a lot of national parks, state parks and a lot of the recreation areas that I would like to go to, as beautiful as they are. But let me see if I can find us another one. Okay, this is Holiday Rambler Class A. It is 38 feet. Uh, it is huge. I believe this is a gas one. Uh, no, sorry, this is a diesel. Uh, it's a single axle. has slide outs. And this is a 2009. So let's go ahead and have a look. nice driver area. It's definitely a diesel. You can see all the extra switches that they have. Made by Holiday Rambler. It's a decent name. You've got lots of storage along the top here. And then we're here to the entertainment area. This is a nice coach. I like the layout. So what we have is a couch overhead storage and rather than a dinette they put a table and two chairs which is a really nice feature especially if you want to work uh, and you stretch out your feet and stuff 
Uh, they've got more pantry at the back. This one's got an island in the kitchen, which is very unique, with more storage down below. Electrical outlets, good place for the coffee when you're parked and ready to go. Uh, has double sinks, has the TV right across from the couch. Great feature. I suspect this slides out. I know it probably does, but I'm not going to try and move it and break something. Microwave convection, stove top, no oven, but that's good because with the convection you don't really need the, uh, the oven. And here we've got, uh, again, a side by each fridge and freezer. Come back here, you've got a good size, a decent size shower. Your vanity. And obviously over here would be the toilet area. Back to the bedroom, you got a slide. No power on here, so I can't turn the lights on. But you've got a slide, tons of storage area. This is beautiful. And then again, the queen size bed. Looks nice, lots of storage. And look at all the storage at the back here. Holy moly. That's really nice. This is storage as well, but you could probably turn that into a washer dryer if you wanted to. This is a beautiful coach. I'll look this one up on the net and see what it's worth. But it's again too big, too pretentious for just me and Little Bear, but it's very comfortable. Okay, so we're going to look at this next one. It's a tour. Uh, I'm not sure who that's by, but I think it's Winnebago. And you can see it, and we're going to have a quick look at it. Well, I just got sidetracked there a little bit. We didn't get into that tour, uh, probably because it's too expensive. But my sales guy just happened to pop by, and he said, have a look at this one. This is a Winnebago Vista. It's in the price range, uh, and it's 31 feet, but it's a Class A. I have not been in it, so I don't know what we're going to see, but let's go in and have a look. It looks like the slides are out, so it's going to be cramped in there. Okay, we're inside this Vista, and it looks very familiar to one of the other ones we looked at, but I can't remember which one it is now. Nice cockpit, very simple. A little bit of storage up top, not a whole lot though, not compared to some of the others. The light, you got your couch, uh, which is right across from the TV over the counter, so that's the model or the layout that we were looking at before. Good sized kitchen for me, has a dinette, and this couch, as I say, with the TV in the right position, this is actually a really nice model. And I know it's in the, the high end of my price range, but it's, it's there. Convection oven. Uh, microwave convection oven, stove top, double sinks, oven, six or eight, looks like an eight cubic foot fridge, you've got your shower, and your bed. It's a queen size bed. It's kind of hard to give this attention because it must be 100 degrees in this coach. That's obviously where you would mount a television for the bedroom if you wanted one. And then you've got a bathroom here. So nothing wrong with this one. I don't like the color scheme on this particular model, but it's a little too bland. But it has a lot of a lot of storage space. This is nice. Very nice. So this is the Winnebago Vista, and I have no issue buying Winnebago. They are really, really well made. I, I've done the research into the blogs, and I wouldn't say that they vary top end, because there's some luxury coaches that are two and three million dollars. But this is uh, this is a, a well made coach. Okay, so beside the Vista is this Holiday Rambler uh, tag axle. These are one of the huge, uh, this is a 43 foot uh, diesel coach with four slides. Uh, this is a used one. Uh, let's 
for sale. It's a what year is it? It's a 2007. But let's go in and have a look at it. Okay, so we're inside the uh, Holiday Rambler Navigator. It's called, and that's your cockpit. Uh, wow, got a huge television that you can see actually folds up into the ceiling. So when you're driving, you've got cabinetry behind that. So that's kind of cool. And then beautiful woodworking. Holy moly. And look at this layout. This is gorgeous. So you've got a couch. Lots of beautiful oak, red oak uh, cabinetry. Good sized kitchen. You've got your table and chairs, dinette sort of thing. You've got a workstation here with a Euro recliner and an actual workstation. That is very functional. Oh, this would be nice. I can handle this one for uh, how many gazillion dollars, I don't know. But it's very, very nice. You go to the back. They got uh, this is effectively a refrigerator, a, res a residential refrigerator. You've got two walkthroughs. This side is the bathroom. Nice glass shower door. Very nice. Really good size shower. Some of them aren't. That's a that's a good one. Uh, vanity, mirrors. You can walk through the bedroom. Wow, this is huge. You see why it's 43 feet it makes a huge difference. So you got a nice end table, queen size bed, lots of cabinetry at the top. Check out the ceiling. Got mirrors over the bed. Too old for that. Lots more cabinets down here. Tons of drawers. TV. Towel rack. Pocket doors. I'm sure slide uh, and then you come to the back area here and look at all this space there's your washer and dryer combo unit this is convenient place for all your soaps and things more storage at the top and then you've got this huge cupboard at the back hang things in store your extra chairs Awesome coach. Very, very nice. I'll have to look this one up and see what it's worth. So now we're through the bedroom again, back to the, the main part of the coach. Great size kitchen, sofa, table and chair, dinette, Euro station, or workstation with a Euro chair. And then there's your big, huge, it's gotta be a 40 foot or 40 inch television. Uh, a nice coach. There is a uh, another class coach, which is the class B, which is kind of like a converted man. Uh, they are gorgeous. They happen to be pretty expensive. Almost all of them are diesel. And as a full timer with a dog, I think they're too small, so I'll kind of rule them out. So it's another day of shopping for RVs. The cards. Now, I haven't included the fifth wheels and the travel trailers in this part of the tour. I pretty much ruled them out because I don't want to drive a pickup truck. Uh, so we're going to stick with the Class C's or the Class A's and go from there. So again, there they are.